Your first Final Four begins uh, tomorrow. Tell me a little bit about the emotions uh, as you prepare for that game. Um, it's a big emotional time. I mean, it's kind of like this is my first Final Four, and I mean, it's a great feeling. I mean, I just really wouldn't want to be here if it wasn't. I really wouldn't be here if it wasn't for these guys around me. I mean, I have a great group of teammates, and uh, we just have a great team. I mean, we just all bought into what Coach said. I mean, we just went out and performed. Uh, we just stuck our game plan for every team, and we just have to perform and come out with wins. So, I mean, we just got to keep doing what we've been doing and just work even harder. The goal all year has been to win the national championship. Now with Kevin going down against Duke in the last game, uh, talk a little bit about uh, you know the inspiration uh, that that provides. Um, I kind of feel like it gives us a big lift. I mean, because uh, we're back here in Atlanta, that's where Kevin's really from. I mean, but I mean, we we really have to come out and just you know not really think about it as much because, I mean, we're not doing this uh, just for Kevin. Kevin's a big part of our team, and we really wouldn't be here if it wasn't for him. So, I mean, we have to win it for a lot more reasons than that. I mean, Kevin's a part of this team. He's going to be a part of this team no matter what. So, I mean, we have to come out here and win it for a town of Louisville. I mean, we have to win it for each other. I mean, we just really have to come out here and play hard. Has the hoop loss surrounding his injury this week, uh, has that been distracting at all? I mean, I really don't think it's been distracting. I mean, it's kind of like... People are really just seeing how much of a team that we really are, how much we care about for each other. I mean, the person that probably is taking it the most is probably Kev. I mean, last night he was so tired that he collapsed at uh, dinner. So, I mean, he's probably taking it the most uh, having to do all these different things back to back. I mean, moving around these crutches. When you when you see him on David Letterman, I'm, I'm assuming you guys sat around in the hotel last night and watched his... Uh, I saw it this morning. So. Um, is that, you know, to see him kind of able to laugh a little bit and have a good spirited, uh, you know, thing with David Letterman, does that kind of lift the morale about his injury? Oh, um, I mean, I think it would lift the, uh, lift the morale about his injury, I mean, about other people. I mean, we already know how Kevin is, and he's a fighter. I mean, we've seen him, um, we've seen him here lately trying to you know, do things that help strengthen his leg already. So, I mean, he's a fighter, and we already, we're not going to be sad for him because he's not sad for himself. I mean, he's ready to get back in, and we, think that, and we know that he's going to make a 100% full recovery from his injury. Wichita State out-rebounds their opponents by eight per game. Uh, talk to me a little bit about, you know, their front court, specifically Carl Hall and uh, Clay Anthony Early, what you guys have to do to be successful? Um, we have to do it how we've been doing against every other team. I mean, coming in, going to the Colorado, Colorado State game, they was the top rebounder um, in the nation, and we kept them off the guys. So, I mean, same thing we have to do here. Um, we have to man up and just rebound the ball at, our, at every position. It gives you enough time to prepare the right way, you know, really focus in on the team that you're going to play, you know, this, um, know their plays and everything, so it's going to work out for everything. And last one, just talk a little bit about Kevin, and, you know, that story is obviously like, you know, it seems everyone in the nation is kind of pulling for you guys for him. Yeah, you know, Kevin, Kevin's our brother on this team, you know, we pull each other up, we want to put one person down, and one thing I can say about Kev, you know, he's, he's doing very good, you know, he's taking everything on. You know, he's not thinking about anything, but you know, just just to win. And that's all I can say. You know, he's a strong guy. Thank you. Wayne, does your role change at all with Kevin out of the lineup? Um, I say everybody roles change. You know, um, you know obviously myself and you know, um, Tim Henderson also has to step up now. And, you know, even when Gorgie went down early, you know, everybody had to step up, and that's how it's in the same situation. Kevin went down, and everybody had to step up again. Can you can you slide back and play that two spot? You know, um, if needed. Um, I think so. Um, he, he might, coach might mix it up a little bit. You know, put Luke in at the two and keep me at the three, or put me at the four a little bit. Uh, I'm not for sure. I'm just throwing things out there, but um, we definitely can, can switch up the lineup a lot. So, um, we still have a, a deep team, but you know, Kevin run that offense and defense pressure on the court. Does Does it change the way that you all press? Um, without him? I don't say necessarily, no. You know, because everyone on this team knows how our press is. And, you know, like I said, Tim Henderson 
is a good player, you know. He's been here for a long time and he knows everything, you know, just as well as Kevin did, you know. So he's going to step in and, and, and try to fill that job. What, what about, like, you know, the, the foul issue with with Russ and Peyton in the backcourt? I mean, can they gamble as much at the front of that press as, uh, as maybe they have? Uh, I think they uh, probably not, you know, because Kevin did uh, come in and uh, give us that lift when one of those went down, when one of those guys went to the bench. And so I think they're going to have to, you know, just play just tough, full pressure defense. Yes, that exposure, but obviously you wouldn't, wouldn't trade that out to have, you know, not have the injury. But um, it's good. I hope he's enjoying it a little bit. I know it's kind of tough for him right now on the exposure. He is very. Thanks, man. Good luck. Thank you. Luke, when you watched uh, when you watched Kevin on Letterman last night, is that, is that I didn't actually. We were at a little team meal and uh, didn't get to watch it. You haven't seen that at all. I've seen uh, some some clips of it, but I haven't watched it. Is, is that one of those things where he you know he's able to to, to kind of make light and have a little bit of fun with it? I hope uh, is so. That, is yeah, that yeah. like a, is that like a an emotional lift? Yeah, I think there's some, there's a lot of things he's, he's been involved with that have kind of helped him out, uh, especially some of the shout outs from from some of the NBA players and stuff like that have really you know made him feel better and stuff. So. Okay. Thanks.